And the last source of SMIs that we're going to highlight for its malware benefiting implications are the periodic SMIs. So if we once again look at our causes of SMIs and scroll down, we'll find the periodic timer expiring and the additional enable is periodic enable and the status in periodic status. So we are actually back to the SMI enable. We saw that before, PM base plus 30 and bit 14 is going to enable periodic SMIs. The SMI handler can then see that it got into SMM because of a periodic SMI by checking the periodic status, which is NPM base plus 34 SMI status. So somewhere completely different is the general power management configuration one register at bus zero device 31 function zero, our favorite LPC device, offset A0, and bits zero and one specify whether it fires every 8, 16, 32, or 64 seconds. So why do I say that this has malware implications? Well, if you have code running in system management mode, it's only ever going to wake up and execute if an SMI fires. And there need not necessarily be a bunch of SMIs firing all the time. They're mostly for power management type things. A lot of them much more frequently occur on like laptop type systems, not as much on desktop systems. So if you have malware in SMM, you need a way to run your malware to do malicious things. And so consequently, the uh, when I was doing this proof of concept light eater malware, which was, you know, stealing GBG keys from tails out of memory, I wanted to wake up every now and then and be able to scan memory in order to see if there was keying material to steal. And the periodic SMI is a great way to do that.